Extreme One Chunk Iron Man is RuneScape taken to its absolute limit. I've spent over 100 days of game time in the last year grinding through every grind that my 49 rolled chunks have thrown at me. 85 cooking, completed. 87 crafting, light work. 89 agility, yeah that, that, that was pretty rough but I did it anyway. The Revenant collection log, completely mate. Then. I hit my toughest chunk yet, my 50th chunk. The Draconic Visage from Lava Dragons and the Vetion pet from the multi-combat variant of Vetion. In the last video, I received the Vetion pet after 4380 kill count. Now, I have only one task left, the Draconic Visage. Well, I would have one task left, but Jagex decided to release zombie pirates that they decided needed to drop the Laren's keys, and so I had to go back to my previously completed Chaos Temple chunk to kill 11,000 plus zombie pirates to get a Dragon Dart tip and get 95 Fletching to turn it into a Dragon Dart, a task I still haven't done, and to my surprise, may never have to. Oh, and there it is. Missed it by about 1,000 XP, but we have now 30 million range XP on a One Chunk Iron Man. And now, fun fact, according to the One Chunk Clan, which isn't every single One Chunk Man in the game, but it is a very high percentage of them, not only amongst extremes, but against all chunkers in general, that is the highest range XP. Now, I don't know, maybe someone like Verf or Limpur has higher, but I don't think so. Uh, so as far as I'm concerned, that is the highest, the highest range XP on any chunk account in the game. We just hit 7,500 zombie pirates as well and seem to be totally immune to getting Laren's keys at the moment. So hopefully that will turn around sooner rather than later. But yeah. Big, uh, big milestones all around. I am watching a lot of TV at the moment, which is a habit that can get expensive quickly. I thought streaming services were supposed to be cheaper. Yeah, they were. Well, there was 35 of them. With today's sponsor, NordVPN, I can get the most out of my streaming services and crucially, not have to sign up to all of them. By changing my region, I can expand the library of content on services such as Netflix and Prime Video almost infinitely, allowing me to watch shows that aren't available in my native region. Now, talking of region hopping, isn't it annoying when you get hit with a ton of roaming fees when traveling abroad? I remember accidentally costing myself £230 on a trip to Cyprus once. Well, with Nord's new offering, Sailey, this is a thing of the past, with over 150 regions covered all under one eSIM. Nord can help you remain secure at home and abroad too, with advanced threat protection keeping your IP safe and automatically filtering out dodgy links and files. If any of this interests you, then you can get a huge discount and an additional exclusive to YouTube, 4 months free and a 20 gigabyte Sailey voucher thrown in. With Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee and the insane discount being offered, there has never been a better time to sign up for NordVPN. Use code FRAY or click my link in the description to get this exclusive offer now. The boys are here, yes, they're here. Look at these losers. <laughs> Come on, get the double E's. <laughs> oh my god! He's just too good. He's just too good at eating. Oh my Christ! <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, how low hit points did I get there? That was unbelievable. Three Laren's keys. This is going to take us one shy of rate because this is keys 27, 28, and 29. And the rate is obviously one in 30. So this is the last chance for us to officially get lucky on any grind. Can we? Come on, Dragon Dart Tips, please. One last chance. <laughs> oh, why am I never lucky? Come on! Right, we're going to get it on rate though, I believe. 
So, I have just hit 3,000 Lava Dragon kill count. No Visage yet. We're obviously only about 30% of the way to the rate, so not to be expected, but it would have been nice to spoon it super early. But I guess there is still time. Um, I will be very happy if I can get it before 5,000. That would be really appreciated. I'll be pretty happy if I can get it before 10,000. If I go more than 10,000 and I go dry on every single grind in this chunk, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't happen. And there is 79 prayer. Nothing in luck with that, but the next level is level 80. And I feel like level 80 prayer is a bit of a bit of a milestone of like becoming a proper account, eh? So uh, yeah, onwards and upwards, no visage yet. 3.1 thousand lava dragons killed. Stats looking unbelievable, it has to be said. But yeah, hopefully the visage will come. Maybe it's this kill. No. Hopefully soon. Oh my god! It's an actual quester! Bouncer gang have got a quester! Oh my god, what's it gonna drop? What's it gonna drop? That could actually be a fat key. The, the, sorry, I said quester. I meant clue scroll person because there's a master stash unit over there. That could genuinely have some serious coin in it. And there is 74 defense. Nothing unlocked, but we are creeping up those levels. I feel like if I get a lot more defense levels and a lot more prayer levels before this chunk's over, I could probably be touching, what, 120 combat maybe? That's crazy. Go on! Ah, oh, Yoda! Oh my god! Uh, log in our genius. Oh, I got away! Yes, Yoda! Thank you so much! Oh my god. Come on, come on, there's only one of them on me. No! Oh! That's so unlucky, I so nearly got away there. Yes! Yes! How did I get away? How did Rot let me get away there? Oh my god. I'll tell you what. That uh, chuck of the entangle on the lava dragon, that was a million IQ from me because I reckon it would have come in and hit me had I not got that. Oh, that was so good. And here is level 75 defense coming in. The basic, I think, is that the highest defense level? Uh, just a shrama. Maybe there's some stuff that's higher, but that is like a real milestone level. And also, we are also going to be getting level 80 prayer. Seems like there used to be something unlocked there <laughs> that's been removed. That's weird. Um, but 75 defense and 80 prayer. That was nice timing on that. Oh. <sighs> Huge levels, huge levels. Uh, still level 115, but looks like our next level of defense will get us up. Um, so we're solidly into the 80s now on the prayer. We are at 3,600 Lava Dragons killed. Um, so, yeah. How long is this going to go on? Hopefully, not much longer. But with a drop rate as low as 1 in 10,000. So, we just got a Dragon Med Helm from the Lava Dragons, which is a rate of 1 in 5,461. And I've actually had two of them. So, yeah, odds on that is less than getting the one Visage. Hopefully, it's a good sign, though. I've put it on for good luck. Don't you think I look like a 2005 PK in this setup? Looks rather nice. Hopefully, we can get the Visage soon. 
Okay, so as part of the stream that I'm doing right now, we're doing a 500 mil or more giveaway. Uh, this is the, uh, the items that we've got on the giveaway, which is an absolutely insane amount. I think, what's the value on this stuff? 570 mil. So it'd be very, very fun to, uh, to drop all this stuff. And hopefully, people that need it get some of the money. I thought I'd do it in Canifis. Because why not, you know, do this where it all began? And yeah, let's get let's get stuck in, shall we? <laughs> Void Waker, who got it? Ancient Relic, ah, oh, Crossbow, Ring of the Gods, Dammer and Scepter, 100 Laren's Keys. Oh, the Spectral Shield. Dragon pickaxes, dragon boots. <laughs> Imagine you came to this and all you got was a pair of dragon boots. And with this lamp that I just got from a genie, we are getting level 38 Slayer. Just two more to go until our goal. And our goal is level 40. On the extremely slim off chance that I roll the abandoned mine, level 40 will allow me to enchant my salve amulet and that would be massive making it 20% instead of 15% so yeah hopefully uh, that is a chunk that we roll at some point in the future because it would be cool to uh, not have had all the lamping be not worth it and there is level 76 defense another level and 116 combat 10 levels away from the maximum next level will likely be 96 magic or 80 prayer probably 80 prayer God, these levels are getting high. We're at 4,168 kill count. Kind of getting through it, you know? I wanted to get it before 5,000. Hopefully that can still happen. But, yeah, it's getting less likely, isn't it? <laughs> there is level 81 prayer. We did get it before the magic level. I thought we would. Only 18 more to go till level 99. Please tell me I don't get level 99 prayer. It would only take me going three and a half times dry, which would be less dry than I went at the Revenant. So uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. And there is level 97 magic. Only two more levels to go until level 99. Sadly, we will not be able to use the 99 skill cape for anything because we do not have any other spell books. But kind of crazy to be up to level 97 magic on a one chunk Iron Man, I must say. Guys! Guys, PKs have logged into the south! Get them! Quick! Quick help! There's a guy across under me! Guys, help! Get this guy! Okay, right. Should be able to log out underneath him. Come on. Yes, Noodle Boy, yes! Yes, Noodle Boy, yes! What an escape! What an escape! We do what we want. Oh, fuck. Oh. Should be able to get away here. Can't move. I might get that. Maybe. Maybe. M yes. Oh, yes. As if I got that. Yeah. That was a good escape. That was such a good escape. Oh, that was good. That was very solid. Limited food and everything. Oh, hello. Level 97 PK here, boys. Drop him. That looks solo to me. Oh, see ya! <laughs> they hit us with the what the fuck as well. That's very funny. See ya! He got on me. That's so funny. Look at these losers! They're so funny! I love it so much.
Yes! Ah, they let me get away! Yes! Oh, that's funny. That's funny. And there is 77 defense. They keep, they keep flying up. Every single defense level is going to help us with tanking PKers, so pretty handy to have. <sighs> Onwards and upwards. And as you can see in the chat, Bouncer Gang just smited themselves a Void Waker. Only two of them as well. Got on some pure that was killing bots. Clearly forgot to protect item or got smited for his Void Waker. Bouncer Gang is eating today. Ah, oh, things you love to see. And there is level 82 Slayer. Still going. We're up to 4,955 Lava Dragons. Progressing towards 98 Magic as well. Those levels, like, they're starting to look really good. 97 and 82. Like, are they not like main account levels? Not Extreme One Chunk Iron Man levels. Mad. I think I just said Slayer. Not Prayer. Not 82 Prayer. Not Slayer. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm 23 hours into my 36 hour stream. Uh, so if for the next sort of like 12 hours of in-game times worth of uh, footage, I sound like a moron, I'm saying the wrong things. That'd be why. So we just hit 5,000 kill count on the Lava Dragons. Total loot on the track is 76.7 mil. I have obviously buried a decent percentage of that with the Lava Dragon bones. Uh, the second most highest stack comes from the Onyx Bolt tip. So it'd be cool to fletch those, I guess, one day. Um, yeah, 5,000. So we are halfway there. I would say if we get the Visage from this point, I've not like spooned it. I think pre-5,000 is a spoon. I think 5,000 to 10,000 is getting it just before rate. And then after that, we're going dry. So hopefully we can just avoid going dry. Let's avoid going dry, please. And there is level 78 defense, yet another defense level of absolutely nothing. Flying through the levels, the combat level. Look at that, I'm nearly level 117. I just need to get one more defense level or two more prayer levels, realistically. Probably looking at the defense level there. But yeah, combat level is flying. What a fucking hop that was. Just saying, insta log as the team logged in. Thank you. See you later. Weak streaming, how does that work? So. Oh, you fuck! You got me on that one, you dick! I think that one was actually perfect. I think that dropped at the exact tick. Oh, you knob. <laughs> It's the same guy again. Oh. Guys, quick, run. Get here. Get here, get here, get here. Oh my god. Please tell me they splashed. Oh my god. That's like the luckiest ever. Oh my god, I'm running out of run energy. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Finally. Finally, I got some splash RNG on that. That's so lucky. Oh my god. Oh, did you see that insta log? See you, mate. Ah, oh, the stream snipe stood under me and he still couldn't get it. Unlucky, dickhead. And there is 83 prayer and me missing the level as always, or nearly as always. 83 prayer is still going up. Kill count 5,700 now. <sighs> How much longer is this going to go on? 87, I believe, is going to be around 10,000 Lava Dragons. Please let me get it before 87. And with the 199 bracelets of Ethereum, one extra over here, and zero Ether, we're officially down to 50,000 Ether to try and get this Draconic Visage. It is not a good spot to be in, lads. It is not a good stop to be in. Hopefully, though, hopefully our RNG can clutch it up and get it before 
before we run out of ether, because that would be such a shame if we have to go back and get more or use water spells or anything like that. Oh, how the fuck did I get away there? I thought I was done. The way he like stepped out, I was like, oh, he's definitely got me. And then somehow I managed to get the log out on that. That was insane. What? Are you not... Boys! Oh, got away with that. Bloody hell. I hate those ones. They stress me out. The Laren's chest. To open the Laren's chest, you need Laren's keys. And Laren's keys are dropped by almost every single NPC in the wilderness. However, every single one of them require you to have a Slayer task for them to receive the key. Well, all of them except one. The newly released zombie pirates at the Chaos Temple do not require a Slayer task to drop Laren's keys, dropping them at a rate of 1 in 362. Now, this is a problem for me because I do have access to the small Laren's chest, and amongst other things, the Laren's chest can give dragon dart tips as a reward. I have access to feathers in my 50 chunks, and so I do have to fletch dragon darts as my highest level fletching task at 95 fletching. This means A, getting 95 fletching, and B, actually getting the dragon dart tips, dropping at a rate of 1 in 30 from the chest itself. This means killing an average of 11,000 zombie pirates. This was straightforward, and I was making good progress on it. I've killed 8,300 zombie pirates and used 29 Laren's keys. However, Jagex have taken the decision to remove Laren's keys from zombie pirates. This makes a lot of sense thematically and means that Laren's Keys will remain a Slayer only drop. However, it does complicate things for me. If zombie pirates do not drop Laren's Keys, then I can no longer get them, which means I can no longer get Dragon Dart tips and thus no longer require 95 fletching to create Dragon Darts. This essentially means that Jagex have removed my 95 fletching task and my need to obtain Dragon Dart tips, except they haven't. This is why I said that the removal complicates things for me. They are removing them 10 days from now on July 10th. Additionally, they also hotfixed the zombie pirates to drop Laren's keys three and a half times less often immediately, meaning that the effective drop rate of dragon dart tips is over 1 in 36,000. This leaves me with a bit of a tricky predicament. Sweat for 10 days trying to get an insanely rare drop that's going to get removed before I even hit the drop rate, or focus on getting the Draconic Visage and let the timer run out on the Laren's Keys. I've decided to do the latter. I will be focusing on the Visage for the time being, and if I get the Visage, any leftover time will be spent on getting 95 Fletching, as this would still be part of the remaining task Fletch a Dragon Dart, and is also still likely to be relevant for me in the future, as a Dragon Dart tip can be obtained from many sources. It just so happens that in the chunks that I have available, the only way is via Laren's Keys. If I manage to also get 95 fletching before the timer runs out on the 10th of July, then I will switch up to trying to get Laren's Keys. However, that is now all way too hypothetical. Now that you fully understand the bizarre situation that I'm in, hopefully you understand why, essentially, getting the Visage is the last task. Seriously though, have you ever heard of Jagex announcing that they're going to remove a drop entirely from an NPC drop table? two weeks ahead of time whilst simultaneously nerving the, uh, nerfing the rate of said item into oblivion straight away. Very weird, but, you know, we go again, I guess. And there is 79 defense, just one more until level 80, and also 117 combat, which is definitely a cool one. 
1325 total levels as well, which means only 175 more total levels until last man standing. But now 117 combat. That's mad. We're so high combat. And we're just going to get higher and higher and higher. So we're going to get loads more defense levels and loads more prayer levels on this grind. Almost certainly. Unless we can uh, whip out our spoon and uh, get something good. And we just hit uh, 6,000 kill count at Lava Dragons. 4,000 more to go until we hit the rate. I can just feel it. I can feel it in my bones that we're going to go beyond 10,000. And yet again, be dry on something else. I can just feel it. I pray. I pray I'm wrong. But I just got that feeling. Uh, Tame, I've got a guy on me, by the way. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> you gotta wait. You have to wait till the end of the barrage. It's so easy to chuck the snare on them while you're barraged and you can't stand under. You just have to have like the calmness to wait until the barrage time is over. Oh, that was so good. And we have 152 bracelets left plus 2,000 ether, which means that as soon as I fire one shot from the stammer and scepter, we're gonna have below... 40,000 ether. How bleak is that? Surely we get the visage before we run out. No! Oh, I didn't get the fucking log out. Why was I dicking around for that long? Right. Uh, I've got one on me, if you can come here. I'm hoping I'll be able to chuck a freeze on this guy and get out. Unless his little chums turn up. There we go. Easy, easy. No. Oh, his little chums have shown up. No. Come on. Surely. Surely. Yes, I got out. Basely. Basely, there again. He just does what he wants. He just creates that moment of indecision that make this... Ah, oh, he's, just, he's just a goat. See ya, dickheads. Oh, you love that. Love that. And there is level 84 prayer. I think level 85 does actually unlock some stuff. Is it like... Maybe it's like the Desert Elite Diary or something like that. But 84 prayer. Does that not seem outrageous on an extreme one turn count? And there is no sign yet that that is going to be the last level. So I'm sure that will keep creeping up. At 6,500 Lava Dragon kill count right now. So almost up to two-thirds of the drop rate. <sighs> Definitely not spooned this one. Hopefully we can at least avoid going dry. So, the current kill count at Lava Dragons is 6,666. Which means with this kill making 6,667, we are officially... Two thirds of the way to the drop rate of the Draconic Visage. Ooh, leave your uh, leave your opinions down in the comments below. At this point, are we going to get the Draconic Visage before 10,000 kill count? Yes or no? And, and a kill count prediction guess. So, oh, hello. There he is. Help me, boys! Help me! Oh! I've got away! I've got away! <laughs> How did I get away? How on earth did I get away there? Oh my god, the stream sniper spawned in underneath me specifically to get me. Boys, you need to perk up now! And there is level 80 defense. Now that is a legitimate milestone. Oh. 80 defense. How much higher is it going to go? Please, not that much higher. Please. Oh, you are joking. We just got another dragon med helm. 
the rate on those is over one in 5,000, and we've now had three of them. So officially more likely to get a Visage than three Dragon Med Helms. Ah, oh, come on, just give us the drop that I need, please. Go on, boys, take that guy out. Is there a team logging on under me? Are we all right? Did that guy log out? Oh, no. Well, I've shown the world now anyway, haven't I? In fact, I'm going to log back in, see what's happening. Do we think people are dying around me? Or are we all right? War or not war? Oh, fuck. Log out! No, why did I log in? Why did I log in? Why did I do that? Oh, I thought it was definitely fine. Oh, no. I was like, I was like, I definitely left some bones on the floor. So oh, I'll definitely log in and get the bones. Oh, why did I do that? No. <laughs> I was like, there's one bone on the floor. I simply must get the one bone on the floor. Fuck's sake. All I work for nothing. <laughs> I even got logged out. What am I doing? Why did I do that? Okay, YouTube viewers. So I just died in an awful, awful way. And what you see in my invent is all of the Revenant Ether that I have left in the world. We started... We started, uh, we left the Revenants, rather, with 750,000 Ether. We are now down to 30... 3,000. No bracelets left. No other ether in the bank. 33,000 is all we have got. So it's looking quite likely that we are going to head back to the Revenants at some point in this chunk. Unless, unless we can spoon uh, the lava, what, the Draconic Visage in about the next 2,000 kills. <sighs> it's not looking good, but hopefully we can pull it off. Okay, so I realised that this update may very well be the one that removes Laren's keys from Zombie Pirates, and for that reason, I'm going to uh, open up the 44 Zombie Pirate keys that I have in the bank. Hopefully we can spoon a Laren's key set from this, and then hopefully we can spoon some Dragon Darts from the Laren's chest as well, but uh, we shall see. Uh, these are likely going to be the last Zombie Pirate uh, chests that we ever open. So hopefully, hopefully, we can get the, uh, we can get Laren's keys. And with this kill, we are hitting 7,000 Lava Dragons. 3,000 more to go until we hit the rate. About 1,500 to go until we run out of ether. Surely. Surely we get it for 10,000. I just want to get it for 10,000. Please. Please. And there I am, like an absolutely washed YouTuber, missing the 98 magic clip. One level to go until we've got our next 99. 99 hit points, range, and likely soon to be magic. I think the drop rate, as in, I think the m amount of lava dragons I would have to kill to get 99 is significantly more than 10,000. I think 10,000 should get me about halfway there from this point. So we're probably looking at about 13 to 14,000 lava dragons in total to get 99 magic. <sighs> are we going to get 99 magic or are we going to get the draconic visage? Let's find out. And there is 103 hit points rapidly following up the 98 magic. 19.3 mil. God, that creeps up on you, doesn't it? I think... I think I'm, I'm definitely highest for, 19, for range XP on Chunk Man. I think I'm probably getting up there for hit points as well, to be fair. I don't think I'm number one for hit points yet, but I must be getting close. Oh, did you see that? Did you see what happened on screen there? Oh my gosh. That was lucky. And there is level 85 
prayer. Members can now combine the Holy Elixir and a Spirit Shield, which is quite a uh, funny little thing because that makes like something that we can actually do at Corp. Uh, and I guess, to be fair, it's not even on the log, is it? Oh, so I didn't get the highest level thing. The highest thing is to fortify an Eladinus ward. I think that might be a while off. So, uh, yeah, 85 prayer. And there is 81 defense. Nothing for that. One level away in prayer or defense from level 118 combat. That's wild. We're really getting up there now. I'm very much running out of EFA. I'm at 7,500 Lava Dragon kills. And we are down to our last 20,000 Ether. 7.7k kills on the clock. So we can probably get up to about 9,000 kills-ish with this. Maybe slightly more. But we're not going to hit the 10,000 drop rate, which is not ideal. So, yeah, hopefully we can get lucky, please. It's only crazy until you do it and you realise it's so fucking great. Like, think how good that would be. You never have to take your rubbish out. There's no more bin lorries on the streets. Like, no more bins out in the street. Think of London. It's a fucking shithole. Like, London's shit. Like, there's rubbish everywhere. Imagine everyone, instead of having to leave their fucking bags outside their house, just lobs all their rubbish into the interdimensional portal and it gets sucked off to God knows where. This person's so bad. I'm playing it like they're LMS and they're literally fucking trash. How am I not hitting? <laughs> okay, at least we got away from him. My god, that would have been embarrassing. Why can't I attack him with a scepter? Are you fucking joking? See ya. <laughs> and with that kill, we have just hit 8,000 Lava Dragons. 2,000 more to go until we hit the drop rate. We have less than 17,000 Ether in the bank right now. So not looking great that we're going to get it before 10,000. But we keep soldiering on anyway total loot on the loot tab is 129 mil obviously we buried a significant amount of that in the bones and not picked up a significant amount of it in the black dehyde and the insult dragon heads but my god our prayer xp is looking good our magic xp is looking good our defense xp is looking good our stack of draconic visages is not but hopefully we'll get it soon it's gonna be fun when i actually do run out of ether isn't it Heading, heading back to revs. Old times. Oh my god! Oh my god, you fucking what? As if we just got it! What? What? Oh my god, we got it! Oh my god. What are you doing? Are you putting your hand on me? Are you having a fight with me? Are you fighting me? 8,092 kill count! Wait, I've not picked it up yet! I'm gonna go, Mark. No, Jeremy. My god, you are! You are fighting me! This is incredible! This is what it's all been leading towards, isn't it? And I've not picked it up yet! I didn't pick it up! Oh, I didn't pick it up! <laughs> oh, no, I didn't pick it up! Wait! Run! <laughs> As if he just killed me. Do not pick that up. Please do not pick that up. Oh my god. <laughs> Arnold. 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 No. Oh my god. Right. Don't pick it up if you see it. Please. Oh my god. Please don't pick that up. Please don't pick that up. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> 50 seconds. Okay, I'm nearly there. Come on. Oh my god, I can't believe that. As if I just got it like 
five minutes into the stream. Is there still, is there still the voice of Indignia? Yes, okay, we got it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you can kill me again now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's see if I got it and they can kill me straight away. Oh my god. We got it! And we got it before rate! 8,092 kill count. What the fuck? As if that just happened! <laughs> oh my god, we're actually spooning! And that means chunk roll is locked in for the day. Oh my god. Oh no, I've got no bank space. Okay, right, check it in here. There it is. Oh my god. I can't complain about being dry now. Oh. So, with the possession of the visage, that means we only have to do one more thing in this chunk. And that one thing is to buy some insulated boots, which apparently we can now wear. I'm not entirely sure if they've got any stats, actually. So it'll be interesting to see if they do. Um... Oh, they got some nice, uh, got some defenses. That's cool. They look pretty neat as well. They look like sneakers, as uh, Americans would say. So I'll just buy a whole set of those. Why not? Just in case we lose them. Some neat little boots to get. And that is the final task in the chunk. So there is still the task to get the Dragon Dart. But as I said, I'm going to focus on the 95 Fletching because there is only, as of right now that I'm recording, six days in which to get Laren's keys from zombie pirates and they're currently at a rate of 1 in 35,000 So I feel like if I focus on getting the fletching up that would be more beneficial for me long term And it is still I mean and that's actually the chunk task right the chunk task is get 95 fletching to fletch a dragon dart Not sweat out dragon dart tips So I feel like prioritizing the dragon dart fletching level is more important and also more relevant for me in the future If I lock pure puro, I'll get dragon dart tips so that's probably pretty likely as well. So yeah, I'm going to focus the 95 Fletching. And to that end, I'm going to go either to Revenants or to Vetion. One of those two. So, with the Draconic Visage obtained and the imminent removal of the Laren's Keys from the Zombie Pirate Drop Table, I will be doing my first ever chunk rolling live stream on the 11th of July. The stream will start at around 4pm and I'll be rolling the first chunk at around 6pm. The best place to watch the roll live will be over at kick.com forward slash FreyRS. So make sure to drop a follow over there. The link for that will be in the description. The community we have over there is really amazing and I'd love to see more of you join in the fun. Never fear though, I will also be streaming the chunk roll itself on YouTube. So make sure that you're subscribed here if you can't make it over to kick. So... What we're going to do for now is basically eat a resource that is always going to be useful for me for pretty much any chunks that I do is going to be Revenant Ether. I also need to get 95 Fletching as currently for the next six days. I do need to work on 95 Fletching in some capacity. Um, I don't mind doing that. And the way that I'm going to opt to do that is via killing Revenants for you and Magic Logs and also getting myself Ether. Um... So, yeah, that's where we're at for the next uh, little bit of time. What do you guys think of the odds of me getting, like, a uh, unsculled <laughs> Vigorous Chain Mace, like, straight away? My guess is quite high. Oh, my God. Right, we got it. Okay. Protect. 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 Oh, I've got, like, no food, though. Fuck. Come on, then. Let's get this Maledictus. This is the first time we might actually be able to get a Maledictus kill. I don't have, like, any food, though. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm almost certainly going to have to bank and get, like, a range potion. Right. <laughs> you boys need to fight for your lives out there. I'm going to need to I'm gonna need to go and bank and do this in two trips. I can tell you that for free. Why am I, like, fucking doing work now? Like, right, I'm going. Right. Keep, keep people off it. I'm going to go and bank and come back. Come on. Come on. 
Look at the pandemonium outside. Oh my god, it's going off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's no chance. Oh my god. Look at this shit. Look how many people there are that log in for it. This has to be some kind of farm or something. Like, what the fuck? So, we've got a five-man team at Vetion now. What I'm going to try and do is see how many kills per hour we're getting in a five-man team with Ursine Chain Maces and such. Uh, I'm hoping it will be a lot and it will be good logs per hour for our fletching. So, obviously, Vetion drops 225 magic logs in a solo. Uh, in a team, it will be a quarter of that. So, it'll be, what, like 60... 66, 67, 68, something like that. Um, and it will drop that like to everyone. So I should be getting around sort of 50, 60 kills per hour in a setup, I think. So uh, we will also be boosting our rank at Vetion quite high, which will be which will be nice. So we got about 48 kills per hour at Mass Vetion, which uh, is quite good, but it's about I reckon it's about triple the solo rate. Um, which isn't excellent considering I'm getting one quarter of the loot. Obviously, I'm not risking ether, but I think now with my like way boosted stats uh, and using ether in solos, I can probably get closer to like 18 to 20 kills per hour at Vetion uh, in a solo, at which point I think it is probably worth doing the solos and getting the ether back, particularly with rumored changes to how ether is gathered i.e. it will be a lot easier to get ether in the future, I believe. Um, I think it's probably going to be worth just doing the solos at Vetion, maybe doing duos, something like that, but I'm going to see what the kills per hour is at the moment on Vetion solo and see how we get on, basically. And there is 4,400 kills at Vetion. I must say, getting that 100 Wines of Zamorak drop that was very cool. I do miss getting those real fat loots from here. I'm very excited to get like a 675 gold ore or a 400 oak planks or something like that because I do miss getting those. Very nostalgic. Uh, PK are in here, boys. What the fuck? <laughs> I swear I just got one hit from max hit points. What the fuck? <laughs> that was mad. That was mad. Right, well, I mean, the answer is I got five kills in 11 minutes. So, I mean, that would, that would come out at like... 25 kills per hour or something um so that seems like a lot better um yeah that seems a lot better so i'm thinking solo might be the way you know because the equivalent would be getting like 100 kills per hour in teams which i'm nowhere near so like if i can do 25 kills in an hour then i've got a whole hour that i basically need to get the equivalent of like I don't know, 1500 ether, and that's like nothing. So yeah, I think it's probably going to be solo and not team all the way. That's crazy. Oh, I'm so gutted I got destroyed by that guy. Oh, well, I didn't get destroyed by that guy. I got destroyed by Vetion. Why did I pray mage? What was I thinking? If I prayed melee, I'd have been protected. Oh, hello, Mr. Genie. We will take you, my friend, because with that lamp, we are hitting... Level 39 slayer, which means only one more level until we can hit uh, get to level 40. And at level 40 is when we unlock the Terror Dogs, which would make the Abandoned Mine Chunk amazing to get. Yeah, I mean, I've just got an abundant... I've got... I believe I've got way more Onyx Bolts than I've got... Uh... Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Help! <laughs> oh, there's fuck all I can do. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Yes. <laughs> In like the maxist max gear. Oh my god. I don't. This is why I've got the I've got the rep as the best escaper in the uh, got the the rep as the best escaper. Oh my god, that was outrageous! So I'm back at the Revenant Orcs, and I must say it is very it's it's nice to be back in some ways and terrible to be back in other ways. So I've been like falling over bots for like the last ten minutes, and it's just awful. Like. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, the Rev Caves, they just cannot keep bots away. Probably the upside, but also, surely from a technical perspective, you'd expect the bots to be wiped out by now. But, alas, no. So, we've brought our alt back to just stand over there with the DDS. So, that's minus 15 mil on a bond that I've got to spend uh, just to make sure that there's no bots around me. So, that's like an anti-bot tax. Thank you, Jagex. Um, but... With the innovation and the change to uh, telegrab, it is so nice, honestly. Just being able to telegrab all the loot is amazing. It, like, increases the kills per hour so much. Um, I feel like I'm enjoying the orcs as well because of the fact that the level 89 agility shortcut's over there. That's a shortcut that I didn't really get to abuse too much when I was doing Revenants the first time. So it is nice to have that over there. Uh, the fletching and smithing XP that I'm getting here as well is just absolutely crazy. Like, every rune ore drop, I just like... Oh, the smithing XP from that is nuts. And then, uh, obviously, also the fletching XP is what we're predominantly here for. So, in addition to the U logs and the magic logs, you also get little things like that, like the dragon, um, the dragonstone bolt tips, which will be a little bit of fletching XP as well. So, the goal is to try and get 95 before next week. Hopefully, we can. Uh, I think I've got nearly 94 banked. Uh, so it shouldn't be that bad, right? There is the bot. Let's just run over here and scare him away. There we go. That should make him teleport away. It didn't. Is that not a bot? Oh my god. The first not bot in the Revenant Caves that I've seen <laughs> all day. <laughs> 40 U logs. Now that's like the best fletching drop that I can get at the Revenants. I believe 40 U logs must be 3k fletching XP just in a single drop. That's so good. So I am in Canifis because I believe it will be. I, I've been informed by a very knowledgeable viewer that apparently my second best in slot is the Witchwood Icon. So, if I grab a whole invent of these, why not? I believe I should be able to equip this for plus one magic attack and plus one prayer bonus. And we can. So, that is our, like, second best in slot amulet. Obviously, we have the amulet of avarice that is the best, but when I'm in the wilderness, I basically can't use that because it forces me to skull. So, this is our second best option, and it is very nice to just have an amulet. If I compare that with my boots that I've got as well now... Uh, very, very nice. Where are they? Uh, there are the boots. Let's stick those on. Look at me. I look almost like a real player these days. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, that is our first relatively rare drop that we've had. We've killed like 500 Revenant Orcs and got sod all. But there is six Magic Seeds, which is 442k. Kind of crazy. Um, they're actually kind of useful to us because there is a world in which I get the tree patch in Varrock followed by the 85, um, 85 farming requirement east of Canifis. And if that happens, having those magic seeds just ready to go and dump loads of XP into farming will be very nice. Uh, if I do get the uh, the farming patch in Varrock, I will keep up the farming runs pretty much indefinitely until I run out of seeds because it's just always good to have a higher farming level. Uh, get like, you know, what's the level for spirit trees? Whatever the level of spirit trees is as like a minimum. And I guess also making a lot of work on the drain ore chunk. Because drain ore is really not that far away from me now, is it? Like, uh, where is it? Uh, back to the surface. Uh, 
Um, Draenor is like, Night Night Farming's here. So we're like one, two, three chunk rolls away from Night Night Farming. So it could happen. So hopefully we do actually get that true patch in hindsight because uh, it might be very nice to actually just get a lot of that knocked out ahead of time rather than waiting for it to come bite me in the ass. And there is an ancient crystal. It wouldn't be Frey at the Rev Caves without getting a token one of those, would it? How many do I actually have? Uh, 35 ancient crystals. <laughs> I don't think I even have them all, but 35 ancient crystals is absolutely insane. Why do I run this way and not towards the 89 shortcut? This guy, this guy has caught every single entangle on 99 Magic Black Dehyde. Like, what the fuck? And he's like maxed every single bolt. Ho <laughs> ho <laughs> Got away with that one. Okay, so I've just din done a nice little part of uh, a nice little session of, uh, what would it be called? Housekeeping. Making 50 sets of Black Dehyde, 30 sets of Van Braces, and then just buying 100 capes. That should keep me going in the wilderness for a while. Hopefully we won't be going back there anytime uh, soon after we've uh, totally 100% finished this chunk next Wednesday. Uh, but I would say, uh, yeah, feels good. Feels good. I've still got 1300 black dehyde left as well, which seems like a lot, but it does go down quite quick, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm going to go probably do some fletching now. See what level we can get to. I think I've got just shy of 94 banked. And we just got random events on both our accounts at the same time, which is rather exciting. Uh, but let's grab our lamp and we will use that on Slayer. Uh, I think we still need Slayer XP. Yep. Okay, about, what, eight, eight lamps away, I think, from uh, 40 Slayer? Surely we get that soon. It'd be cool if we, like, roll the Abandoned Mine as our next chunk and we get the 40 Slayer, like, straight away. That would be pretty sick. Oh, hello, Count Check. That is possibly about an hour after we got the uh, genie. So we will take that. More Slayer XP. We are flying now. <laughs> yes, Rhymes. Oh, my God. I'm literally in the middle of eating. I looked back. And I had a PK like, staring, staring me in the face. 89 agility as well, so I'd have struggled to get away. And my boy Revs here is, is just attacking him, ready to go. Oh, Bouncer Gang. Bouncer Gang Supreme. <laughs> go on, Arnie. This guy's desperate for me, and the boys just keep in intercepting him. Come on, Arnie. Make up for killing me for my, uh, for my visage. <laughs> Look at him. He's working him. He's absolutely working him.
Has this guy only got melee? That's got to be gone. No, if I'd got the, if I'd got the. We fucking cross! I'm not even fucking frozen! What? Oh, please tell me he delayed too long. Please tell me he delayed too long. Ah! <laughs> yes! Oh, you. Dick! See ya! 20 hit points, no food! Oh my god, he's totally gone and done it again! He does not muck around, he does what he wants! See you later! Oh my god, what a clip that was! Do not give away that I'm on 9 hit points with no food! <laughs> Do not give away that I'm on 9 hit points with no food! <laughs> Now, the real question is aside from the 238 chart, well, 1238 ether. Oh, we actually had good loot on us as well. 500k and 1250 ether saved. That was solid. Oh, there we go. We just got our first emblem. Two mil emblem achieved. Oh, that's so nice. I've killed. Uh, let's have a look at the little collection log thing. Uh, we killed about 1,700 revenants without getting an emblem, which is like over two times the rate, but unsculled, so really crazy. Um, yeah, that's nuts. That's really nuts. Oh, I'm so happy I got one. It wasn't a bad one either. Huge. First time I've shouted anything out in the clan chat for ages. Has he got the pies? Oh, he does have the pies. Right, here we go. Here we go. Right, we're going to go across and go straight back again. And go northeast. Come on. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Ooh, maybe. Oh, how's that not a gap? How is that not a gap? That's crazy. Oh, he's trying to teleblock me. I don't even have a teleport, mate. Is this gear shit or something? Oh, fucking hell. Prayed that right as well. Oh, as if he caught that. That's nuts. Oh, fuck you now. I've actually played very, very well here. Come on, splash. Oh, 
fuck me. This guy just refuses to splash. And he's not getting fooled by, like, any of my fakies either. Oh, that was bad. See ya! <laughs> he just forgot to cross! <laughs> oh, it's too easy! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I think I think he had one dose summer pie and his boost just ran out. Because he's 71 agility. So I think I basically had two minutes. Oh, that's so good. Because that guy is 71 agility and he was using a summer pie to boost. Oh my god, that was so good. Oh. <laughs> the no food escape again. I'm just bet. This is when I die now. <laughs> like, just get hit by someone on the way back. That's definitely happened before. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, like that. <laughs> Oh my god. See ya! <laughs> oh, the fakie on that was vile. Oh, tell me that wasn't the best one today. <laughs> he does what he wants. You do not mess with me on the Revenant shortcuts. I will clean you out every single time. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this one so far through. Draconic Visage obtained. Vetion Junior Pet also obtained. We have basically now finished this chunk. And a reminder, we will be rolling a chunk on the 11th of July. Stream starting on Kick at 4pm. Stream starting on YouTube at 5.30pm. Chunk roll happening at 6pm. Um, I look forward to seeing, hopefully, as many of you there as possible. If you are interested in joining a sweepstakes, guessing which available chunk that I can roll, then feel free to join my Discord where we will be having a sweepstakes uh, held at the time. You can vote on which chunk you think is the one that I'm going to get ahead of time. And out of the people that chose the correct chunk, we will be doing a random generator to choose who wins the three bonds that we have available for that. So if you want to win about 40 mil by just simply guessing which chunk I'm going to get next, Jeff, definitely join the uh, the Discord. It will be pretty obvious which channel it is that you need to go and choose uh, on the like Google form. And uh, yeah, hopefully one of you can win 40 mil. So the Discord is in the link. Uh, it is linked down below in the description. So make sure to join that. Um, yeah massively massively successful episode um we got the visage which was the main thing we started getting our ether stack back in a bit more order after getting it down to about fifteen thousand. i can't believe we started at seven hundred thousand ether and we're now and we got down to fifteen thousand. as of right now it's back up to about 40 ish thousand but it's still not amazing uh hopefully jagex does actually um remove laren's keys tomorrow Otherwise, I'm going to be 
<laughs> not rolling a chunk and I'm going to be back at Zombie Pirates. So hopefully that does go through as planned. Uh, thank you so much for watching. A massive shout out to all the channel members as always. Fontcest, Taufine, Patrick Wright, Jean Scallon, Mike Moran and Fuclus at the Amethyst tier. At the Rune tier we have Crito, Cianscape, Cornstalk Cans, Mr. Flappo and Pretty Cool Guy 1. At the Legend tier we have El Pinin, Cum Crumpet, Teeters, Uberhasu, Meme Coin, Baseman, Alacy, Draco Ranger, Pierre Totari, Just Taxland, Can't Even Fly, and Tazar Doug. And at the gold tier, big shout out to Eddie Mayer and Shocked Thief, who recently just passed over one year as members of the channel. Look out for their names in the comments below because they will have a new little emblem, which uh, hopefully you guys like. Uh, we also then have Salnex or Kai, Carl Sprouse, Papa Brando, Squang, Olivet, Has. Hazmat83, Nilo 360, Crow Poro, Vandio Gaming, Asher Anchor, Carstman, Spooky Pasta, Hannibal, Potatis, Wimble, Chas John, Only Moly, Ed Manta, Sauron Pedersen, Morseco, Pants Pooper, King Duffy, Loon Master Flex, Big Fuzzy Hat, Cummy Pancakes, Tom Van Ramshorst, Nicholas Stringer. Those are the ones. Pretty sure I butchered Tom's name there. I'm so sorry. The way I've got it written down is tiny on my screen. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Massively successful episode. Chunk rolling stream coming up soon. Please go and follow over at kick.com forward slash FreyRS for the best experience of that. And again, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one.